Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be adding some more UI. We're going to be adding the stats of the player, so the health and the stamina. Last time we made a pickup pop up, pops up whenever you're close to an object that needs to be picked up. But now I want to start displaying some stats so we can get into uh, maybe using some stamina whenever we jump or whenever we're sprinting. So from the last time we got this canvas, so we can just right click here, go UI and add text. Now going to game view will be much better and I can see much easier. I'll rename this new text, maybe like health text or health amount. Maybe that's even better. I can duplicate it and maybe do like stamina. I want them to be in the top left corner. So I will just go right here and parent them to the top left right here. So you can just hold shift and press this top left box. Now if you go to position, you can change change it back to zero. And I don't know if you can see that. Maybe if I change the color of the text, you can see it in the top left corner. I'll increase the text size to 24 and I will type in 000 because there will be a value there. Do the same thing for stamina. I will just move this one on uh, the position Y, maybe like minus 20 or minus 30, 25. In both of them I will move for about 20 on the X position. Also what you can do, you can go to health amount, maybe change the color to red or reddish color. And then to the stamina I will do like green since that's pretty generic. And also what I would like to do is I will go to the canvas, add a UI image. I will anchor it to the top left, same as before. Reset the position to zero, zero. And then I will take it and move it above these two in the hierarchy. I will scale the width, to width and height to maybe 50, 50. And then I will try and place it right here. Also, I'll change the color to like a uh, gray color. And I will also uh, decrease the alpha to like 150. Just so if we play, I just realized now that this is actually a bit too small. So I'll increase the font size to 44 maybe. Also change the alignment here to middle. And at this point, the text box is too small. So you can change the width and height to maybe like two, maybe just double it for now. And then it will show. I'll set the width to be around 100. And then the height to uh, 50 for both of them. Also, I'll have to move the other one for around minus 30 or actually minus 40 down like this, this is much better right now. And then just the image needs to be scaled up. I'll just double it and try and see how that works. I just kind of place them wherever I want them. And now they're in top left corner, but there's no values here. And it shouldn't be too hard to set those values. What we'll have to do is I'll just create a new script that I will call player UI. Open that one up. Before we get started in here, I will just go up to the top and say using unity engine.ui. Very important. And now I'll create two new uh, variables. I'll type serialize field since I don't want them to be public, but uh, I want them to show in the inspector. This one will be called health amount and then I'll have the stamina amount. And of course, there'll be text variables. I forgot to say that. We will need to void start, but first we need to get the character stats on the player. And since this object is going to be on the player, I'll just create a new variable. That'll be private and it'll be called character stats, player stats. And then in, in the start method, I'll go player stats equals to get component character stats. So this will just get the player stats from the player object. I'll create a new function that will say void set stats. I feel like that's a good enough name. And then I will say in here, health amount dot text equals to player stats dot current health to string. And then just put the brackets here. And also the same thing for the stamina, stamina amount dot text equals to player stats dot current stamina to string. So what we're doing here, we're getting the health amount, which is our text object that we just created. And then we're getting the text 
component from it. And then we get the player stats from the player, we get the player stats current health, and then we do two string because current health, I, if I believe, it's a float, and the float is not equal to a string, so this basically transforms the float to a string. I'll just call this once in the, in the start function for now, just to demonstrate. Set stats. Now we have to make sure that we have that script in the player. Also that the player does have the player stats script and then just drag the health amount right here and the stamina amount text right here. If we play the game, they should be zero because I don't believe we're setting any stats. Yes, they are zero. So basically what we're forgetting is in the player stats script. Well, we are actually setting those, but I, what I believe is uh, that the player stats script is ran before the player UI script so or sorry opposite and then the health amount right here doesn't get uh, updated which we can fix very easily. Now in our player stat script that we have from before we're going to create a new variable that will be called player UI and I will just call it yeah player UI and then in the start method I will go player UI equals to get component player UI and actually we're going to do all the updating from here because it's much easier same as we did here set stats we're going to do the same thing but not in here so we can just remove these and I actually do want these to be public now so I'll just go up here and instead of serialized field I'll, I'll say public I want the player stat script to be able to access them and we don't need anything else in here for now. So just these two. In here we'll create a new void that will be called set, set stats. And it will do the same thing as we did before. We'll go player UI dot health amount dot text equals to current health to string. And then again player UI dot stamina amount dot text equals to current stamina to string and now we can call this function after these so I'll just go here and say set stats and now if we play the game it should update them and set them to 100 and you can see that they are 100 now which is great but these still won't get updated every time that we get damaged for example if I decrease the current health right here it won't change or for example if this if this uh, enemy well not now but in the future if it damages me the health will stay the same and it won't update in here and we can do that very simply because we have in our character stats script which the player stats derives from so player stats has all the same thing as the character stats we have our check health and check stamina and we want to update the UI every time this happens so if the health changes the UI will update it. What we can do is go public virtual void like this. That means that we can override it in other functions. So we can go player stats and in here go uh, void public void or sorry public override void and then we have to get the exact name which is check health. In here we can just go base dot check health so what that will do, it will go back to the character stats, it will get all of this from the check health, uh, check health function, and then we can add new things. So in here I'll just go set stats. And I will do the same thing, actually I won't do it here, I'll do it down here. And we gotta do the same thing for stamina, so public override void check stamina. It will go base check stamina. And then set stats right here. And now in the future whenever we get damaged the health will get updated. And also whenever we run the stamina will be updated but not now in the future. So this has been it for this video. In the, f in the future videos we're hopefully going to be adding the kind of the stat consumption scripts and so on. Hopefully this helped you, hopefully enjoyed, if you did be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.
बाय बाय